Millions of people around the world celebrated Earth Day this weekend. It's a time to take a moment and think about what we're doing to keep the environment in good condition. That is especially important when we think about the fact that what we're doing now is what our children will have years from now. We're talking about things like conservation, recycling, and being good stewards of the planet. All of these things we can do with our kids. Now today, we have an idea for you. It's something you can do in your own backyard. Backyard. Literally, it's called the National Backyard Habitat Program. It's part of the National Wildlife Federation. The idea is to make your yard a place designed for wildlife, animals, plants, you name it. Rebecca Bryant and her family are in the program. She says it's a great way to teach kids about the environment. It's always good for kids to get their hands in the dirt, for one thing, and just get unplugged from the TV and the games and just get dirty and be outside. Um, and it also just teaches them how they're a part of the environment. All right, to qualify for this program, there are a couple of things you need to do. You need to have food for wildlife, which can be anything from holly berries to acorns to nectar from flowers. You also need to have some cover. It needs to be an area where wildlife can raise their young. So that would be things like bushes, trees, or maybe prickly plants. Your yard also needs to have a source of water. It could be from a fountain or a bird bath and you need to minimize the chemicals you use in your yard. Rebecca says it doesn't have to be complicated. You can qualify even if you're in an apartment with a balcony. But it's a really neat way to teach our children about the environment and what everything needs to survive. To learn more about the program, you can go to our website, fox10tv.com. We'll connect you to the National Wildlife Federation. Just go to fox10tv.com and look for the Monday Moms page. And guys